I'll be in touch. Boris. In violence? Well, apparently my aides have Sean Thornley and Monsieur Jones locked up in a wine vat. Girl travesty. Well, that's one way to keep them from finding Mrs. Jones. I can't help wondering if there was a more civilized way, or at least a less dangerous way to detain them. Are you afraid they'll drown? My men will have the sense to let them out before that happens. I don't need the WSB after me. That will defeat my purpose. Which is to convince Jones that the WSB is after his wife's kidnapping? Precisely. To note you, Mr. Jones, mistrust and disgust of the WSB. He won't cooperate with them. The search for me will seize them. There will be absolutely nothing in my way. And if Jones and Donnelly should die? <sighs> Would cause some inconvenience, but... Nothing I couldn't handle. Something is not right. I'm okay. Worry face. Well, I'm kind of disappointed that no one believed me. Did you tell them of me? No. About my crystal. About how it helped me ace my algebra test. Did you expect them to? No, but if they didn't believe that, how are they gonna... What? Nothing. Um, I have to get back before they miss me. Okay, now, eat your vegetables and keep warm, okay? Yes. I know these things. Now, thank you. You don't have to keep saying thank you. I mean, I like having you here. What do I say? Nothing, just a smile. Smile. When the face feels good. <laughs> right. Okay, bye. Robin? If you wish to ask, I will answer. Well, I know one thing for sure. What? My crystal is magic. No matter what anybody says. How do you know that? Because it brought you. Great wine. Wine always makes me feel, you know, cuddly. <laughs> How do you say that in French? Hmm? Tre amore? Hmm? I brought you some magazines to keep Madame entertained. Oh, but Frenchmen and French wine now. That's the way to have a great time. Especially if I could relax. And you know, I could relax if you could just tell me why I'm here. I'm only instructed to keep Madame comfortable. Well, I could be a whole lot more comfortable if you could tell me who is giving you the instructions. Hmm? I bring you some more Chardonnay.
dog so much shit. I got something to win. I got a crack here. Uh, uh, it's nice. Oh, it's because this stuff you have to be in They want to kill us. I don't know. I don't know. It's tricky. We seem to be doing it. You know, it's really too bad I gave up smoking. Is this what every man wants? Right before he dies, a good woman, a good glass of wine, and a good smoke. Sean, watch. How much butane is in that? Do you have any matches on you? I look like. Do you have any matches? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like a boy. You do? Yeah, yeah. Here. Yeah. 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 Give me the matches. Okay. Okay. Take my shoelace on that. Why? We need, we need some cotton, some cloth, something that'll burn. Okay. Oh, don't tell me you're trying to rob you. A nice. Peaceful death. That's exactly what I mean. It's a long shot, but I hope it works. Okay. That should be enough to blow this. Either that or it blows us a smother in his Alright, alright, I just got it. I got it. Okay. Make it fast for me, even though I'm not relishing the idea of becoming a, a baked Irishman. But you know the French that love Nobel cuisine. Oh, yeah, that's what Felicia always wanted, a husband. French fried musician. There we go. Got it. Okay. All right. I swear if they hurt her, Sean. Don't worry about that right now. Let's just get the hell out of here. Okay. Sit. Okay. Okay. Hurry up. Go ahead. Come on, hurry up. I'm trying, I'm trying. I've almost got it. Just, just. Couple more seconds. Oh, come on. All right. You all right? Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Give me the matches. Okay. Yes. Don't breathe so hard. You know, we're going to have matches, you man. Listen. If this thing blows and that hatch doesn't go off, we're going to suffocate in here. Well, it better. Or we die. You wanna light this guest off? No, 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 no. Thanks for your friends. How this works. Oh, we didn't work?
It is crude. There. It is better now. You are terrific. I called to make sure everything's okay. Okay? I mean, has anything happened since I left for school? I've been watching what you call TV. Don't watch too much of that stuff. My mom said it can rot your brain. Rot your brain? It's a joke. Mom says that you can learn more by just reading books. I will try that. But your TV can be enlightening as well. Are you coming home? What is lonely? Well, it means when somebody isn't with you and you wish they were there. That is how I feel. Well, it won't be that long. Oh, no, there goes the bell. Well, I have to go, okay? Just stay home and I'll be there as soon as I can. Bye. Hein? Reste un peu difficile encore. Oh oui, mais avec un peu de force, hein? <rire> work, sir Donnelly. I hope you got a can opener for this thing. You go inside, I'll stay out here. Oh, Alicia. now I get it, I'm having a nightmare. I knew it all along. I just knew it. Move it. Sweetheart. Are you all right? Oh. We're going to get you out of here right What are you now. doing are you in my me? nightmare? Who's that? It's Sean. Who do you think it is? Are you okay, honey? Oh. <laughs> oh, boy. We're in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> honey, are you all right? Oh, I'm just having a nightmare. And you, you need a new tailor. Yeah, is this the way the WSB tortures people nowadays? <laughs> Alicia, are you all right? <laughs> honey? Mom. Hey, Frisco. <laughs> Definitely a WSB bug right here. Don't you afraid you're gonna rest in that Honey, thing? you gotta pull yourself together oh, right now. I can pull now. myself together. You draw a perfectly straight line and I can walk right down it. Right smack. Alicia. Tapped out in the middle of the line. Honey, <laughs> now what are we gonna do? Well, you've had all the bright ideas today, but next time you wear this funny suit, okay? Hang on to her. I'm pulling those Honey, guys in here. Easy. Easy. I tip. Easy. I tip. I tip. I tip. Oh, I tip. I tip. I tip. I tip. Oh, hold, 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 hold. Are you okay? Huh? It's a covered wagon. Don't let the Indians get me. Richard, <laughs> you got to be quiet for just a little bit longer. Oh, I, I can be quiet. I can be quiet as a little teeny mouse. You know, if those waiters <laughs> wake up, they're going to have the whole thing. Little 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 just a little bit longer, okay, honey? Someone's coming. Mousey, mousey. Shh, shh, shh. Shh, shh, shh. Let's get the hell out of here. I told you we've been in this hole. You have not been in this hole. Fuck your jacket. I can't fuck my jacket. Là, c'est fait? Oui. Il plaira à Faison. D'accord. Reading. You want to read, you go to the library. Library. From the Greek. Libros. Hey. Meaning book. You better spit, dude. I'm going to call the cop. Cop. Copper, the vernacular for police. Also, colloquially, fuzz. Flatfoot. Internationally, bobby. Gendarme. Policia. Oh, maybe they better bring a straitjacket. Robin. Oh. My friend. No. Honey. honey what are you doing? I don't get near this one. I'm going to call Chief no, Lewis. No. Oh, and I let him in this morning. What? 
You let a stranger in our house? He's not a stranger. Remember, he's the one who fixed the security system? Well, it was fixed. Uh, still had a few bugs. Robin let me in. Well, to finish. It worked perfectly all right last night. Unfortunately, no. Come, I will show you. See, it's securely locked. And yet... Hey, shut that off, man. Shut it off. You see, it is as I have said. How did you do that? Vibration. I'll have it repaired in a moment. Okay, I want to watch that. I, I want to see how things work. Oh, shut that, man. It, Can't you shut it off? It must be in the wiring. Uh, I, it, fix I, it. It must be in the wiring. Oh, fix it. I'm going in the kitchen. Come on, man. Way to go, Casey. Sign of approval? Relief. That was a close one. <laughs> this Easter, home. Can anybody do that? I mean, can you teach me? With the crystal. Don't you dare let that thing go off again. I will be careful. Well, <laughs> I guess I made some coffee for you, dude. It's uh, the least I could do to make up for being so rude. He's almost done now. No problem. How could he fix it? I don't see any tools. I, I uh, guess you don't need any tools when you really know what you're doing, right? Well, well, come on. Time for a coffee break. And some milk for Miss Scorpio. There we are. Thank you. I hope you drink coffee. Thanks, hon. I needed that. Hey, dude. What do you think you're doing? Take liberties with me, I'll cook your goose. Oh, and it's a commercial on TV. Wow. Well. Maybe I should find out what else your friend watches on TV. Oh, and it was just a compliment. I meant no disrespect. Oh, man, Brad, you are a strange one. Uh, uh, well, uh, would you like some cookies? Uh, if you haven't seen TV commercials on them. He loves some cookies. Uh, uh, okay, I'll bring them out. Not everyone behaves as they do on TV. It all depends. There's so much to learn. It's not going to be so hard. Just stick with me. I'll teach you everything you need to know. Ils nous ont pris derrière. Il devait être une douzaine. C'était pas de notre faute. Ne vous inquiétez pas. C'est tout dans les plans. Ah bon, vous, vous nous avez trompé alors. Ça te gêne euh, Mais non, euh, nous craignons de vous avoir déçu. Si c'était le cas, vous, vous ne seriez jamais réveillé. Nous allons trouver Bien sûr. C'est tout dans les plans. Est-ce que Jones et Donegal va reconnaître le micro Ah, évidemment. Tous les deux connaissent bien les équipements de WVSB. Maintenant, M. Jones, il faut être très désolusionné avec ses patrons, n'est-ce pas Laisse-les finir. Nous avons du travail à faire. C'est dommage. On a fait livrer la belle Madame Jones. Elle était très atterrante. J'ai dit, viens. Nous avons beaucoup à faire. Oh, no. 
out of the woods yet. Can you walk? Well, why walk when you can dance, right? Honey, honey, <laughs> come on now. We got to get out of here, okay? Oh, did I tell you how much I missed you? I missed you, too. You know what? I was kidnapped, I think. I mean, I'm not really sure, but mm -hmm. I'm positive that I was. Yes, okay. <laughs> come on, we got to get moving now, okay? I here love you. I love you, too. You two are my heroes. We're her heroes. Well, coming in. Okay, come oh, on. Oh, that's okay. Go. Let them come. No. I'll fight the little guys, and you can fight the big guys, all right? We gotta go. Come on. We gotta go. Hang on, Vic. I like this. I like this. Here we go. I like this. All right, easy, easy, easy. Here we go. Yeah. I think I'm gonna lose this. No, no, no. Come on. Oh, yeah, just a little case of America. Now we are so pleased that you are safe. Yes. Oh, well, it's glad to see you. Well, I think we should get her off her feet. Yes, I agree. Oh, oh my feet are much. fine. It's my... It's, it's are you my... In pain, oh, Madame? I don't feel very good. My oh, head hurts and my stomach feels very uh -huh. strong. Uh-huh. See, there's a little problem. It's toujours, huh? Every day is the same for 50,000 francs. Oh, yes, <laughs> yes. I think she had just a little bit too much of that vintage Chardonnay, right, Vintage sweetheart? what? Chardonnay, remember? Hmm? Yeah, uh, look, I, uh, Frisco, I think that uh, you and Felicia should be alone for a while. I'll uh, see you later. Thanks. Is there, is there anything you need? Uh, oh, I, I'll let you know. Thank you. Merci. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Oh, sweetie. Listen, we have to have a little talk, okay? There's some things that I want to explain to you. You don't have to explain. I know everything. I was there. It was really awful. How are things on Spoon Island tonight? Dead, dark, and deserted. As it should be. You have something for me? You have eyes behind your head? Sure. Always. Good. That means you can see me even when you're not looking at me. The Windermere lease? Not exactly, but equally good. Better be. Sean Donnelly and Frisco Jones took that piece of WSB equipment that we planted in the chateau. Obviously, they believe that the WSB is behind Felicia's kidnapping. Hmm, that takes care of Monsieur Jones. But not Mr. Donnelly? Mr. Donnelly is a breed apart. Are you saying that uh, Mr. Donnelly was not convinced by that piece of equipment? I wouldn't wait on it. Then what will you do next? Proceed carefully. Another delay. No questions, darling. I have special plans for Mr. Donnelly. Frisco. Something fishy is what's going on here. You think somebody stole that from the WSB? I don't know. It's not like the Bureau to make these kinds of mistakes. They've made them before. Yeah, but, I mean, the WSB just doesn't leave their stuff lying around like this. Unless we were supposed to find them. Well, you rack your brains about it, okay? I've washed my hands of this stuff. Oh, I hate to muddy your brains with my suspicions. Well, I have other problems to think about right now, Sean. Well, I think this is one of your problems. Why would the WSB kidnap Felicia in the first place? I don't know, but I think we should try and figure it out before she wakes up. I don't want to think about this anymore. Hey, hey, what? What's really going on with you? I'm worried about how she is going to react when I tell her this entire concert tour has been a cover for me to work with the Bureau again. Why in the hell would you tell her? Because I'd like to be honest for once in my life to her. 
I've been lying to her long enough, Sean. I lied to her about the whole tour. I lied to her before the wedding. Look, do you have any idea what this is going to do to her? She's my wife. I know that. I can't lie to her anymore. The whole relationship has been based on lies, and I started it. I lied to her about going back to the WSB. I had her move the damn wedding up in order for me to leave town. Yeah, but you only lied to her because you wanted to protect her. See, that's what I don't believe. I did it for me, and I know I did. Because I like to live on the edge. I like to live this way. I like to live that way. And that's a bunch of crap. I don't think about her. And I want to start fresh. Just hope you know what you're doing. I'm taking a chance and I know it. Because when I tell her the truth, I know I... I know I could lose her for good. Scarce. Good luck. No more meat. Thanks, I'll need it. Now, I admire your courage, if not your timing. Don't worry about me, Sean. I got my speech all worked out. Fine. I think you're cutting your own throat, but uh, don't let me stop. You're not. something? Oh, no, thanks. I just like to look at you. I didn't know I was ever going to see you again. Want to talk for a minute? you remember anything about uh, the kidnapping? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I went into the, the cafe that was next door, and these two men came up to me. Mm -hmm. They said that you'd been in a train wreck when you came back from Belgium, and they said that you'd been hurt. I had no reason to believe that they weren't telling the truth, so when they said... They wanted to invite me to go with them to see you at the hospital. I went with them. I was very grateful to them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what happened there? Well, I... I don't know. I... Somehow I became unconscious. And then I woke up and I found myself as a prisoner. Very pampered prisoner, but I was a prisoner. It was a very beautiful place. What went on at this beautiful place, honey? Well, I threw lots of temper tantrums. It didn't do any good, though. <laughs> Probably wasn't very funny at the time, was it? No, not until I got a little tipsy. Did they ever say anything about why they kidnapped you? No, they didn't. But I think that I've got it figured out. Sweetheart, now. listen. I'm sorry this happened to you. And... No, no, no. Let me talk. This whole thing is my fault, really. Let me explain. You see, when we left Port Charles, I... Well, we both knew I was going to come over here to Europe, and there'd be a lot of concerts and 
Well, I should have warned you. I, I should have told you ahead of time that there might be something... <sighs> I'm not saying this very well, am I? You're blaming yourself. Honey, just let me speak for a minute, no, okay? No, it goes with the territory, Frisco. What are you talking about? Well, you know how rock and roll fans can be. They get a little crazy. They get a little insane. I just never thought that they'd be after me. <laughs> I'm so sorry I let this happen to you. I'll never forgive myself. It's not your fault. You had no idea how the fans were going to react like that. I'm married to a rock star. I have to get used to it. I have to start being more careful. Yes, I'm just the luckiest guy in the world. I think I'm pretty lucky, too. Would you help me stand up? <laughs> sure. It's kind of embarrassing. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Take it easy. Feel okay? Not a hundred percent. Okay. Let's not drink Chardonnay anymore, okay? Chardonnay's cut out of the diet. Good. Listen, I got a couple tickets back to Port Charles in a few hours. I didn't know if you'd feel up to it or not. Up to it? <laughs> I can't wait to get back to our own apartment and to my own bed. I just want to hold on to you and never, ever let go. I'm certainly glad you didn't tell her. It wouldn't have accomplished anything. It would have done a hell of a lot for my conscience. Oh, don't tell me you're still hung up on this thing. No, don't worry. I'm not gonna rock the plane. Meaning what? Meaning I didn't tell her today, but I'm gonna tell her when I get home. Why? She's already satisfied everything about the whole tour. I thought you were gonna leave well enough alone. I was. For the moment, I was. Oh, come on, you've already decided that the WSB is out of your life, right? Exactly. And that's what I'm going to convince her of. I'm going to be honest, I'm going to tell her what I did, and I'm going to tell her that they're out of my life. You know how good that's going to make me feel? Oh, that's terrific. That is great. You can confess all of your sins, right? And then how with the way it affects her? I'm doing this because I care about her. Well, I care about her, too. She's very, very special to me. And your timing on this thing sucks. You know how much she's going to have to contend with when she gets back home and finds out about Duke and Anna. I just want to remind you, okay? I didn't think about that. Look, I know you love her and you don't want to hurt her. No, no, Sean, listen, you made your point. I understand what you're saying. You're sure now? No regrets? No, I have a big regret. I regret that I ever believed the WSB when they told me that you and Robert and Anna, that your lives were on the line. Well, they certainly got a lot of mileage out of that one, didn't they? You look pretty alive to me. Yeah. You can probably stay that way for a while, can't you? Uh-huh. Thanks. I thought you would be sleeping. I know, but I have to ask you a question. How did you do that with BJ's top? Easy. Easy? Accomplished with ease. I don't understand. I mean, you do things that should be impossible, and then you make them look like a cinch. What does cinch look like? Like a piece of cake. You know, like when you solve those algebra problems. Like how you fix the security system. And like when you pick Lucas up and he immediately stopped crying. Any more pieces of cake? You really don't know what I mean, do you? No. You can do impossible things, but there's a lot of other things you don't know anything about. Yes. Hot dogs. 
not just that, a lot of things. And you know something about my crystal. Yes. Does my crystal help you do those things? We help each other. And I need it. Let me hold it. I'll show you. Did you sleep okay? After what happened last night, what you did with my crystal, that was amazing. I hardly slept at all. There was much to assimilate. Then it was the dream. You're really from. Yes. I hope it didn't throw you. Did I say that right? I think you assimilate pretty good for a guy from there. Where are you from? My world is Lumina. Lumina. Does that concern you? Are you kidding? It's neat. I'm exhausted. I'm so tired, my teeth hurt. At least I don't have the hangover anymore. I can't wait to take a shower and crawl into bed. I can't wait to crawl into bed with you. Now, here's our plan, okay? Mm -hmm. We sneak up to our room. We don't wake anyone up or bother anyone. We'll deal with them later. Great idea. I brought you a pin with wings from the airplane. Oh. Hey, guys, you notice anything different around here? Oh, yeah, it looks really great. Yeah, I was yeah. about ready to say something. It's uh, quite an improvement. The labor was cheap, everything, huh? Yeah, unfortunately, some of the labor came and went. Hmm. Tony, are you referring to moi? Uh, maybe. Uh, are you ready for some breakfast? No, really, we're, we're dead tired. We're just going to go straight to bed, thanks. Well, wait, before you go, one thing. What's that? In honor of your homecoming, and I don't want you to get used to it here, but champagne. <laughs> ah. oh. Oh, I thought you liked champagne. Well, it's not that. Well, I can get you white wine, Chardonnay. How about that? <laughs> you want to tell us what the joke is? Actually, the joke's on me when I was being held prisoner. Would you explain it to him? It's she got wasted, drunk, Chardonnay. <laughs> she has a bit of a hangover. Yeah. Oh, Thank you for the thought anyway. It was very nice. No problem, no problem. Just more for us. <laughs> Mm. Thanks. Okay, so now when are we going to hear about the rest of this kidnapping? You were very <clears throat> mysterious on the phone. Well, I didn't really have it figured out myself, so I couldn't tell you anything. Actually, it wasn't really all that mysterious. Why? You figured out who did it? No, but we we think we know what happened. After all, I am married to a rock and roll star. So that puts you up for grab? <laughs> well, that's the only situation I can come up with. Does this make any sense to you? Well, you I couldn't have think theory. of anything better. I just happened to notice that you didn't come home until the work was done. <laughs> 
Are you suggesting that I left town because I didn't want to work with a hammer? I think this whole tour and your hair is about your ability to avoid hard labor. Leave my hair out of this, Tony. Bobby, you've got to support me here. I'm not Sorry. in hours. Bobby. Uh, what can I tell you? I I'm think glad the work got done. This place looks phenomenal. You should go upstairs and see your new apartment. Oh, oh yeah, nothing. that's a good idea. I'm going to put that food away. We can okay, I'll help later. you. Come on, BJ. Oh, Frisco. Did, did Alan and Robert say when they're coming back from Scotland? Anna and Robert are in Scotland? Whoops, sorry. I thought you knew. No, I, I didn't have a chance to tell you. Tell me what? Do you want us to stay down here? No, I'll handle this. Okay. Come on, Come guys. on, honey. Superb! I won't ask you how you pulled it together. Well, I'll Quickly. tell you anyhow. My decorators nearly killed themselves. She was unrelenting. Anything for you, my darling. Your idea? Oh, I had it shipped ahead. I thought it would make us all feel at home. Yeah, we are almost there. Hmm. I'm almost afraid to believe so. It's all coming together. Years of research, tracking, and incredible luck. Oh, Imagine that little girl finding part of the crystal on this island. Chuck, there's something missing in the place. Yes, a complete security system. Flowers, that's what's missing. Yes, you're right. I want the island completely secure. I've started it already. Fresh flowers everywhere. They're good for the soul. At this array, don't worry about our souls. Our bodies need protection. I want state-of-the-art surveillance. I'm putting an electric fence around the perimeter of the island. We must make certain no one can gain access. Hmm. A fortress on the outside. But truly a home on the inside. Yes, you are a consummate nest builder. I always will be, until we settle down. How long will we be here? Not long, I hope. From these calculations, I know that the part of crystal the little girl have, and mine, doesn't represent the total piece. And I don't know how many fragments are buried out there, but I won't stop until I have them all. We studied the planets last year in school. But I've never heard of Lumina. Now you have. Why isn't it here? Lumina is not in Earth's galaxy. Only you of all Earth's people know of it. And that's a secret you must keep. Nobody believed me anyway. They don't even believe me about my crystal. You believe it. Yes. Do you remember when you told me that my crystal brought you to me? Does that mean that my crystal's from Lumens too? Yes. Many years ago, when your Earth was young, People from my world came to visit. Their spacecraft crashed. The crystal was buried with the wreckage. On Spoon Island? Probably. That's why I must go there. To retrieve the other pieces. Why? The crystal means life. I don't understand. Your body needs food and water and oxygen to survive. The crystal is that for me. It gives me strength and energy. Then it's good I found you. Good. It will be good to get to Spoon Island. Why? I will be able to retrieve all the crystal 
and take it back to Lumina. Must be kept secret. Come on, honey, you're going to be late. Mommy. What are you doing? Bodies were not meant for garage. This is much better. Yes, I know, but you have to go in the garage till I get home. Come on. Where is Spoon Island? It's, um, by the harbor, where Bobby and Tony live. Piece of cake. No, no, don't go there by yourself. I'll think of a way to get it, okay? I promise. I would have told you on the plane, but I, I didn't think it was an appropriate time. Colton knew all along that Olivia had changed. He was right. Yeah, it's probably pretty tough for him to believe. He must be devastated. Well, I imagine it's pretty tough on him. Do you mind if I go see him to tell him how sorry I am? No, I don't mind. That's why I love you. Because you have such a big heart. Thanks for being so understanding. I love you. Thank you. Uh, sit down. I hope you're all right. Oh, yeah. I called the hospital as soon as I heard about Olivia. They said that you were here at Kelly's. Well, thanks for tracking me down. I appreciate it. The way I felt about Olivia was completely... The same way that everybody in town felt about her. No, I was wrong. Frisco told me everything. I really did love her. And I, I just wasn't sure that I would ever feel that way again. I'm glad it happened. Yeah, me too. Colton, if you ever want to talk about anything, I'll be here. Thank you. I'm, I'm not sure that Frisco would think that was such a good idea. Frisco wouldn't mind at all. <laughs> oh, man. We have, um... We sure come a long way since Frisco came back, haven't we? We've come a very long way. Thank goodness. Um... Oh, geez, I... I promised Mac I would uh, stop by the shop. Um, do you want something to eat, or can I walk out with you? Or? I'll walk out with you. Good, okay. To finish the last and best of the trilogy, I will have achieved the dream of a lifetime.
Can I help you? I'm going to Spoon Island. Well, good for you. Please, can you tell me how to get there? The only way you can get there is by boat. Where do I get one of these boats? Well, there's lots of boats in the harbor, but you could probably rent one from Max Marine. Oh, you just missed one of the owners, Colton Shore. Where do I find Max Marine? Come here. I'll show you. Follow me. Go out the door there, and I'll show you where it is. See down there? Donnelly's warehouse. Well, you hang a left and you can't miss it. Thank you. I'm glad to see that. Some people like to eat them. It will be easier now that we are all in Port Charles. Yes, right. Goodbye. How was your run? Exhausting. Tristan and Isol, they needed the exercise. Mm. They get so cooped up inside. Yes, blame it on the dogs. I suspect you were a little restless yourself. Oh, I admit. I'm not feeling too useful today. Maybe I ought to take up American cooking. Is that a threat? <laughs> you see how desperate I am. Well, darling. You'll be glad to know I have a mission for you. Mm. The phone call, just now. Singer Jones and his wife are back in Port Charles. I needed it confirmed that he is as disenchanted with the WSB as we want him to be. Right away, I'll go change. And Monsieur Donnelly? Mister. Donnelly. Don't get it wrong. Next to me, he's the shrewdest and most cunning man I know. I'll take care of him. Send all the kids for me, Tony. Okay. You sure you don't want to stay? No, no, I only stopped. No, no, no. Will you just give my love to Bobby and tell her I'll take a rain check on the coffee donuts? I'll be back right? in a bit, all right? See you later. Uh, I wish there was somewhere else we could talk. I don't want to be gone when Felicia gets back. All right, then we'll make it fast. I contacted the uh, cafe in Paris. Waiter we're looking for has already disappeared. It's rather convenient, isn't it? Yeah, I just think it's a minor setback, that's all. Also doing a little more investigation into the Chateau Marguerite, see if there's a WSB connection. You're not going to find anything? Well, if I bother people long enough, somebody's bound to make a slip. Well, have fun. I don't want any part of this. Hey, what am I, the enemy? I want your help. I got no more to give, Sean. When are you going to understand that? I've told you now. Don't you understand that the Bureau... I mean, they betrayed you, man. They sucked you in. Then they put you and Felicia through the grinder. I mean, don't, doesn't that pique your curiosity somewhat? Not a bit. You know, this whole thing might come back to haunt you. I have cut my ties with them for good. Look, I am not asking you to get back into bed with them. But I really can't understand why you're willing to walk away from this before we find out why it stinks to high heaven so much. And besides, I'm becoming more and more convinced that these items were left at the chateau for us to find. And I also think that those cryptic words really mean something. Aluminum, Port Charles, Annihilation. Still no curiosity. They made all that up just to get me back into the Bureau, Sean. There it's were common easier sense. and less dangerous ways. Dangerous? What are you talking about? Hi, honey. Uh, Sean was just telling us about the traffic down at the dock. Yeah, you uh, have to take your life in your hands these days. Yeah, but it's not as bad as Paris, though, right? No. What are you doing here? I'm surprised Tiffany let you out of her sight. Oh, I got in home in time. Just say goodbye to her. <laughs> are you leaving? No, no, no. Um, actually, it's her turn. She's off to New York on station business. But uh, uh -oh. knowing <laughs> Tiffany, she'll probably buy out Madison Avenue before she gets huh. home. Well, I, I know you're both tired, so uh, 
I'll get out of your hair. Okay. See you later. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. Well, I think I'm going to go upstairs and unpack and take some of your costumes to the dry cleaner so we can get back out on the road. Now, honey, wait a minute. There's something I want to talk to you about. Okay. What is it? <clears throat> We're not going back out on the road. The tour's not over. The tour's over. Listen, I know things didn't go very well in Belgium for you. But you were a huge success everywhere else. Your fans. There's no discussing love you. this, Felicia. We're staying here. I don't understand. The tour's over. That's it. Because of me? I'm not going to put you in that situation again, Felicia. I can't ask you to give up your music career because of me. Well, that's not the point here. Well, that's my point. It all happened because of some crazy fans. It's not going to happen again. Please. Frisco, you could call some bodyguards if you need no. help. No. Would you just think about this? Honey, I don't want to live that kind of life. Do you know what it was like for me when I went back to Paris and I found that you were missing? I know it frightened you. Frightened me? My whole life fell apart. Don't you realize that you... You're the most important thing in my life. I want you to have what you want. I do have what I want. You just say that now. Why are you making this so difficult? As much as you deny it. I know how much you enjoyed all that danger that you had when you worked on the, the police force and you were with the WSB and you gave that up for me. Exactly. Did you hear what you said? I gave that up for you. No regrets. Well, I'm glad that you gave it up for me, because I can't be married to a cop anymore, but I know what your music means to you. Honey. And I can't ask please, you to give up your music, too. I am not giving up my music. I'm just giving up the touring part. Okay? Now, with Terry gone, I'm sure I can get a regular gig at the club. But Terry's gone? Yeah. She got that record deal she's always wanted. She did? Yeah. That's great. There's been a lot of changes since we've been gone. Are you sure this is what you want? I'm very sure. Now, you're very wrong about music being the great passion in my life. There's only one thing that qualifies for that. What? Yo. Now, are we together on this? Forever. <laughs> hey, 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 Robin. Hi, uh, welcome home. Well, Hello. thank you. You don't seem very surprised to see us. Well, I knew you were coming. Oh, you did? Yeah. Well, yawn, yawn, yawn. Did you miss us? I sure did. Well, good. Well, your mom's been away. Are, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. But I'm kind of in a hurry. Oh, you are? Yeah. I see. Well, um... Uh, where are you going? Is there anything that we can do? You don't have time to talk to your favorite godfather or anything? How have you been? Not. Well, I'm hungry. What would you like to eat? Uh, how about chili at Kelly's? Chili at Kelly's? Mm. Sounds good. Well, uh, yes, we'd be glad to join you, by the way. Wait for us. I hope you've got money. 